Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to the NRL semi-final review between the Roosters and the Raiders. What a fucking great game of rugby league. We saw the Raiders knock out the back-to-back -back premiers tonight. The Raiders defeating the Roosters. 22 points to 18. What a great game. Again, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it to... All the people that have subscribed to the channel, we're getting very close to 800, 800 subscribers. So, much appreciated if you can subscribe to the channel. But, oh my god, what a game of rugby league. The Raiders getting payback from last year's grand final. The six again bullshit. The Raiders have got redemption. They have defeated the Roosters. The Sydney Roosters have gone out in straight sets, which I did not expect to happen. The Raiders are going to the preliminary final to take on the Melbourne Storm next Friday night at Suncorp Stadium. Cannot wait, but my God, the Roosters did not go down, did not go down without fighting. They were brilliant tonight, and it all started, guys, with the first try. Josh Papali, I backed him first try score. I had two bucks on him. Papali got me 120 bucks for first try. The Raiders are out the gates really fast. They're off to a six 0 start there, and then um, George Williams. Beautiful try he scored. His legs hit the goalpost. I thought he was really injured, but he was all good. At that point, Camera led 12 points to nil, and the Raiders are off to a great start. They got out of the, the boxes very fast. And then Joseph Tarpany with some individual brilliance. It was just a brilliant try. Did well. To the, he, beat it, he beat everyone in the middle, and he just went bang, went over and scored. Croker missed the conversion. The Raiders led 16 points to nil. And at this point, everyone's saying, the Roosters are gone, this game's over. But right before halftime, the big name player steps up in James Tedesco. Nice kickback on the inside from Josh Morris. Tedesco scores with about five minutes before halftime. At halftime, the Raiders led 16 points to six. And the Roosters were coming. And at halftime, the Raiders were up by 10 at halftime. And... They should have been up by about 20 the way they were playing. The Roosters' defense and their their guts, they were just hanging in the fight there. And then um, the Roosters, they were denied a try, which was a fucking absolute joke. And then um, Joseph Money scored an unbelievable try. It was absolute brilliance. And the bunker took about a 1,000 years to make the decision about double movement. For fuck's sake, play the game in real time, you fucking dumbass bunkers, idiots. Play the game in real time and they... Made a decision. It was the right call. They got the try. The Joseph Manu took a, took forever. It was pissing me off. I'm sure it was pissing everyone off at the game and everyone at home. So at this point, it was 16-12. And the Roosters were coming. They were throwing bullets at the Raiders. They were throwing fucking hand grenades at them. It was on. And then Jack White, with about 12 minutes to go, scored a try with a massive mistake from James Tedesco. They put, the Raiders made a break. They put a kick back on the inside. Tedesco slips over, which is absolutely rare from a player like Tedesco. And Jack White gets it and scores. The Raiders at this point, 22-12. You think they're home. You really do. But then Sonny Bill Williams throws a nice offload. Gives the ball to Tedesco. I think Tupanui gave it to Tedesco. He scores with five minutes to go. It's back on again. The Raiders are leading 22-18. to And the Roosters are just trying to throw the ball around. And they're coming for him. And then Tedesco knocks it on when they throw a pass left. And um, the Raiders got the ball. They got down the other end. Jack White splits them again really late. I thought he was going to score another try. I thought Elliot, Wa I thought, I thought Elliot Whitehead was going to get a try there when White went through at the end. And then the Roosters threw the ball around at the end there. Uh, kicked a uh, kick cross field to Josh Morris. Didn't work out. And the Raiders hold on. And they have booked themselves a preliminary final against the Melbourne Storm next Friday night at the Suncorp Stadium which is going to be an absolute blockbuster. Cannot wait. Now, as for the Roosters tonight, they had a lot of great players, everyone out there. They tried their guts out. I think what cost the Roosters in this game was losing Luke Keery in the first five minutes when he got uh, knocked in the head when he went, when Papali scored that try. Keery suffered a head knock, and he didn't come back on until I think it was late in the first half. At that point, it was already 16-0. So they really missed Luke Keery, the Roosters, at this point in the game, and the Raiders were all over him. They had Mitch Orbison playing at 5-8 at one point. I think they had Tedesco there at one stage. Orbison in the centres, Manu at the back. They had a lot of shuffling going around, the Roosters. And um, 
you know, they tried very hard. You know, a lot of people are going to be critical of James Tedesco, but I thought he was absolutely outstanding tonight. I know, I know he stuffed up um, a couple of errors and that try that Jack White scored, but you got to remember, just because a player makes one or two mistakes doesn't mean they had a bad game. I thought Tedesco was in everything tonight. He tried his guts out. He played well. I thought he had a great game. I'm sick of the criticism already. Tedesco had a good game, in my opinion. For the Roosters, for Josh Morris, was absolutely sensational. For the Chooks, Manu had a good game, which was good to see. The Morris boys were both quiet. I thought Josh Morris was good, but Brett Morris and Tupo, the wingers, were a bit quiet. Kiri and Flanagan, I thought Kiri played very well. Flanagan, again, literally like a fucking, like a statue. How many metres did this bloke have? Kyle Flanagan, right? Last week against Penrith, he had one running metre. Tonight, tonight, Kyle Flanagan, I'm just checking on the NRL.com here if my phone decides to work. Here we go. Kyle Flanagan, 13 run metres. All right. Kyle Flanagan needs to be axed. He's not a Sydney Roosters player. He's not first grade level. He's not finals material for the Sydney Roosters. He, he might be first grade level at the Bulldogs, but I don't think he's first grade level at the Roosters. He's not going to get you a premiership at halfback, in my opinion. You know, um... I thought Jake Friend tonight, he was outstanding. He made so many... How many tackles did Jake Friend make? Fucking, he made like a thousand, didn't he? Jake Friend? Doesn't say, but... He was unbelievable tonight. Now, I want to talk about some other players that were great. Takiyaho went down injury, which was a massive loss for the Roosters. I thought Cordner had a fair game. How many metres did Cordner have? Boyd Cordner. I thought he played really well. Boyd Cordner, yeah, 167. I thought Orbison was all right as well. Um, Hargraves was decent. The Roosters' bench was outstanding tonight because Angus Crichton was brilliant. Sonny Bill had a really good game. Nick, Matt Butcher was a little bit average. Tupanui didn't get much minutes. As for the Canberra side, uh, Charles Nickel Cockstad was great at the back. Probably one of the best on field. Uh, Nick Kotrick was a handful for the Raiders. Uh, for the, it was a handful for, with Canberra tonight. Uh, Ralpana was all right. Jack White and George Williams were absolutely outstanding. Papali was brilliant. Uh, Hudson Young had a great game. Cameras Fours were brilliant tonight, guys. Bateman and Whitehead were terrific. For Whitehead was a little bit off. Bateman was decent. Joseph Tarpany was just seriously one of the best on the field for him. He was outstanding. I thought, um, and I thought Corey Harry and Naira off the bench had a really strong game. But overall, a fantastic semi final between two quality sides. I have no doubt they'll meet again in the finals next year. I have no doubt that they'll be. Up there again next year. The Roosters, injuries, I think, caught up to them. I think the slow starts uh, is what definitely hurt the Roosters. And there's no shame in going out in straight sets. But, you know, they, they won the comp the last two years, the Roosters. They were going to be beaten at the top eventually. And um, the Raiders have done that to the Roosters tonight. And, you know, I was going to say, you know, people are going to be critical of certain players, like I am with Kyle Flanagan. But, you know what? Congratulations to both sides and to everyone who played tonight because I thought everyone out there, they were hitting each other hard, they were going at it, it was semi-final football at its best and both teams deserve to be praised because it was a fantastic game and, you know, as good as Canberra were, you, you, you're, you're only as good as the opposition is as well. So both teams fought hard and in the end, the Raiders won the game, in my opinion, because of their fast start and they did well to hang on at the end. I bet when Tedesco scored with five minutes to go, I bet... Um, Ricky Stewart was shitting himself on the sideline. Paul Trent Robinson, is, you know, he's, he's had a good year as coach as well, but more on the both sides. It was a great game of football. Now, the ratings out of 10 are going to be very tough because, fucking hell, this is very hard to get ratings out of 10 tonight because there were so many great players out there. But I'm going to give the Roosters' performance tonight a solid 7 out of 10, and I'm going to give the Raiders' performance tonight a solid 8.5 out of 10. Great game of rugby league, and... My top three on ground, this is very fucking hard because there were so many good players tonight, but I thought Jack White was probably the best on field along with Nickel Klockstad and uh, Joseph Tarpany. But I'm going to go number three. I'm going to go with... Um, I want to put a rooster in there because, you know, it was the roosters were really good tonight. They tried very hard in that second half, and people are going to be critical of this, but I'm going to go with James Tedesco as number three. Fournier had a really good game, made a couple errors, but Paul Tedesco was good. So number three is going to go to James Tedesco. Number two is going to go to Charles Nickel Klockstad. Very underrated game at fullback tonight. I thought he was great. And um, 
Number one, my man of the match tonight. I'm top, tossing up between a couple of players, but I'm going to go with um, Joseph Tarpany. I thought he was absolutely outstanding tonight. Joseph Tarpany, one of the best games of his career, scored a fantastic try. Papali was also absolutely brilliant as well, but you know what? Well done to both sides. What a fantastic semi final. And um, good luck to the Raiders next week up against the Melbourne Storm. I can't wait for that game. Excuse me. And, um, excuse me. I have no doubt that Roosters, Roosters will be back, but will they have a new halfback next year? Because I don't think Kyle Flanagan will be a halfback next year. If he is, I think they're in trouble. Because I don't think he compliments. I don't think Kyle Flanagan compliments Luke Keary that good. So. We'll see what happens in the off-season, but what well on the both sides. And, guys, that's going to wrap up my um, semi-final football review between the Roosters and the Raiders. I want about $350 tonight off, off the camera side, so thank you, camera. But anyway, guys, I'm getting out of here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate the support, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night for the semi-final review between the Melbourne, uh, between the Parramatta Eels and the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Until then, stay safe, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.